What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are not working on one of the cars. Today we are going to be addressing my garage flooring situation. So let's talk a little bit real quick about this garage. The way that the previous owners had this set up is quite a mess. It's more along the lines of a storage unit than it is an actual usable garage. Now I've done the best that I can do in the past year to just kind of make it livable and easy to work on my cars, get things in and out of here, but in no way, shape or form is this like a nicer shop garage. It's just old and not really that well organized. This house was made in 1996, definitely shows it. And when it came time to upgrade some of the things in this garage to make it a bit more work friendly, I knew that I wasn't going to be doing anything that was permanent because without going deep into story with you guys, we are actually not going to be in this house very long. We are looking to move out of the area. We are looking to move into a larger house because the truth is I just need more space. I keep acquiring cars. I want more cars. I need more shop space. And this garage and this house in general is just not going to cut it. We also have been eyeing up a new area. So in the next year, we are going to be moving. With that being said, I wanted something that was temporary that I could take with me. I know a lot of people would be like, well, why would you do Swiss tracks over just getting epoxy floors? That is why. There's no sense in putting money into something that I can't take along with me. And I've always really liked and wanted to try the Swiss tracks flooring. This is that perfect scenario. You know, if you are like renting an apartment or you're renting a house or you don't want to put that money into epoxy, you can of course go with Swiss tracks. It's not too expensive. It looks really good. It's easy to maintain. And so I knew for some simple temporary upgrades, like, you know, cabinetry, a new toolbox that I have coming. The last thing that I really wanted to do to just make this a little bit nicer in here was upgrade the flooring. So long story short, I ended up going with Swiss tracks flooring, ended up doing the slate gray. And I got this from the guys over at Obsessed Garage. Now I will have everything that I use in this video linked down below for you guys, but I'm also going to be upgrading some other things like my pressure washer system, some of the cleaning products that I use, a lot of the tools that I use. And eventually when we're in our new house, I'm gonna be upgrading all of the cabinetry and the toolboxes. It's gonna to be really, really nice. In my opinion, the fastest and cheapest way to make this garage look a hell of a lot better than it does now is to just upgrade the flooring. So Swiss Tracks is going to be paired perfectly in this garage. I am super excited. Hey guys, wanted to give you a little bit more insight into the why behind Swiss Tracks, what it is, why it works, all of that. First thing to note, it's 15 and three quarter by 15 and three quarter. So that makes it, I think, feel a little bit more modern uh, instead of a 12 by 12 tile. Uh, there's a lot of competitors that have that now, but that was sort of their claim to fame was a bigger tile. But the biggest advantage is it's three quarters of an inch thick. So as you're walking around, it doesn't click and clack. Uh, that also, the thing that helps with that is that it's not a solid tile and it's a, the, the rib track style has the curved top that's see-through. Underneath here, there's a peg and loop system, right? So there's a loop and then the peg snaps in. Uh, it's, you know, by far the best and most solid type of interlocking system. They also are channeled underneath the tile. So if I like wash my car in here and my garage is sloped, water will snake and run its way out. Whatever water doesn't make it out, it will evaporate through the top. This here, I, I wish I could show you how dirty it is under the floor. We're actually gonna pull the, the, the floor up. Remember, the biggest advantage to Swiss tracks, which blows people's brains apart, the dirt is under it. And then I can just grab a vacuum and suck up through it whenever I feel like it. Having the dirt under it is a positive uh, because then my floor always looks clean. There's all kinds of dirt under here. Otherwise, I would have to vacuum and sweep my floors me, you know me, I'd have to do it once a day or once a week at least. Uh, so the tiles are, they, they, you know, they can handle about 50,000, you know, so what do they say, 50,000 pounds per inch or something like that. So you could roll an 18 wheeler across this. What you can't do is use like a forklift or cars of the welded diff. But generally speaking, I'm going to drive in circles around here as long as I don't make any crazy aggressive moves. Uh, remember also when you're installing your floor, you would start on the garage door work your way back, set up your tile so that you have loop and loop so that way I can just set my pegs on top of it and work my way basically from front right 
to rear left of the of the structure. Really awesome stuff. They have edge pieces. They also have um, something called tread wear, which can be screwed to the ground if you had some situation with a with a slightly different um, uh, transition into your garage. But I discovered this stuff uh, shoot seven eight years ago now, and I you've seen it all over the place. I have it all over my house, my garages, all over. Uh, every garage I ever do because of how clean it looks. Uh, you can do it in tons of different colors and uh, it lasts forever. I'm actually gonna take this floor with me and it's gonna go to uh, another investment house we just bought. So even though I'm leaving this building, I can pop it up, take it with me. I could always pop it up and clean my floor as well in the winter if I wanted to or in the summer after, after winter. Really awesome stuff. Happy to help. If you, uh, you guys need anything from me, hit me up, Matt at ObsessedGarage.com. Happy to educate you on this stuff if you have some more questions. Install is really, really simple. I actually laid out one layer of tiles across earlier and only took like 10 minutes. I think the most time consuming part of this is going to be moving my things around to make it fit and then the cutting for the weird little angular areas and the edges and all of that. All right, so this is the slate gray. I was actually looking at a lighter silver at first, but the guys over at Obsessed Garage said that this is the most common one that they do, so I decided to go with it. And honestly, I'm really glad that I did. It's a little more in the middle and I think it's gonna hide dirt and grime and debris a lot better. These are gonna look really good in this garage. I mean, this garage is rough, dude. Lots of cracks in this garage. The concrete has a ton of paint on it. It's uh, yeah, it's in pretty rough shape, but just the simple flooring is really going to change this garage big time. It's gonna look much, much better. In addition to the actual tiling, these are the end pieces. So all of these tiles basically just interlock with one another, which makes installation super easy. And these little portions right here are gonna go on the edge. So right before the garage door, it's gonna have a nice little ramp for us to drive right into, right onto our tiles. Also went out and got myself a little saw from Milwaukee Tools. I'm also trying to upgrade a lot of my tools in this garage. I'm just getting nicer and nicer tools as I go along here. And I really like the Milwaukee products so I started buying more of their stuff. Got an impact, got this driver. I recently picked up one of their belt sanders. So as I need more and more tools, I'm basically just grabbing them as we go along. These little cabinets here, I mean, listen, these aren't anything to write home about, but they are not bad. They're $100 each off of Amazon. I have three of them now. I might get another one because that toolbox is going and I'm getting a nice big 77 inch toolbox right here. But I'm super excited. I just got the tiles yesterday and I've been itching to get them installed because I know that it's going to make such a big difference in this garage. I've wanted these tiles for quite a while. Well, let's get into the install. All right, so I'm gonna start with one piece all the way on the edge here and it will be just like that, all the way up to the edge of the wall. And so we have these little ramp pieces right here. This obviously will need to get cut. Um, so the first cut will end up being like that. And then I'll just have it draped down in front like that. So yeah, at some point this will have to get cut. I'll just leave that right there. And we're gonna start building the tiles all the way across. The thing I love about these is they're super, super easy to install. Like anyone can install these. You don't need to pay a company to come and do it. And you really only need like one thing, some cutters or like a saw in order to get them installed properly. But they literally just clip in like that.
First time ever installing Swiss Tracks flooring. I'm gonna need you guys to rate my install. I don't think I did too bad. I give myself like an eight out of 10. So this is all the way up to the wall, all along here, nice and even. I mean, come on, man. I did the circle. 
I did the circle. I was able to get it back here, not super tight. I didn't fill that in because there's a toolbox going right here. So you're not gonna really see all of that. But um, yeah, went all the way to the edges, cut all that out. Same thing over here, trimmed it up back there, all the way to the stairs. <laughs> Ran out of a little piece right there. I guess I could throw a little square right there. All the way through the back there, all the way to the wall. Snug all the way back here and the ramps up front. Man, it is a different vibe for sure. I'm definitely gonna have to get used to it. It makes the garage look a lot bigger. It feels like an actual room now, which is really cool. So I'm gonna start putting things back and just organize the best of my abilities before the toolbox and stuff gets here. I've got one extra box of tiles, which I'm glad that I bought as many as I did because I felt like I screwed up a few times. So I have an entire box full of tiles for extra. Um, these are all of the ones that I cut up and discarded. These are the extra little ramp pieces right here. This saw is absolutely gangster love this thing gonna be using that a lot in the future helped out big time with this this pressure washer is going i'm getting a nicer one um it's gonna mount right on the wall it's gonna be a lot easier to use i might end up getting another cabinet and put it right here because i might have a little bit of dead space over here and uh yeah once we get the toolbox in here man it's gonna be a good setup we got the quick jacks in the corner and for what i do man this is this is it this is all i need it's perfect it's not too crazy it's not too complicated and when we move i can take it with me i love the color dude slate gray perfect i'm glad that i went with this shade of gray because i almost went a little bit lighter and i think that would have been too light i think that slate gray is the move it's like a really nice dark gray this is crazy <laughs> it looks so good the flooring looks amazing oh man when you spend as much time in here as i do this is like my second office so having this in here is so huge it looks so nice wow that worked out really well 10 out of 10 would recommend if you guys are interested in swiss tracks i'm gonna have it linked down below this is like a half day install definitely took me longer being that it was my first time and i'm trying to film every single little thing which just doubles all the time that it takes to install it but man i cannot wait to get my new toolbox in here start upgrading some tools i've been using this little toolbox since i started the channel and this thing it's a joke like the amount of tools in here the kind of tools i really cannot like get down like i want to when it comes to building cars with that i mean this did get me this far so like the 1m clone and everything built with that little toolbox is not too bad but i'm really starting to invest more money in my tools my toolbox just things in the garage to make life easier when i'm actually working on cars so i can really just accomplish more in this garage because the next real project car that i have coming up these two cars are going to be going into storage and and this garage is gonna have one purpose and it's just to build that new car. And that next build is going to be insane. So anyways, huge thank you to the guys over at Obsessed Garage for sending this out. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you guys are interested in doing something simple, Swiss Tracks is definitely the way to go. If you don't wanna do something like permanent, you want an easy install, you can take it with you. It's like perfect if you rent, you know, it's like the perfect setup. But that is effectively going to wrap up today's video. I will see you guys in the next one, peace.